Today we're going to talk about how to play video games better and how to do that by playing the objective. What is going on YouTube? King Kevin here with another video game commentary, but this time with some hardpoint gameplay on Havoc. Now, Hardpoint is one of those game modes that I actually enjoy quite a bit. A lot of people don't, and the reason why I think a lot of people don't is because you essentially have to die a lot, or at least that's what they think. And with Hardpoint especially, yes, that tends to be true. Your KD ratios tend to be much lower than if you were to play something like Team Deathmatch. Something I wanted to talk about was the fact that you cannot play Hardpoint, or Domination, or Capture the Flag, or Uplink, or any of those types of game modes without playing the objective of course. This is an objective based game mode that is hard point in those ones I mentioned before. The fact is that if you want to win, your team has to be on the hard point. And even there are several times in this gameplay where there is someone from the enemy team who is saying that, you know, guys, we have to get on the hard point to win. And then later in the gameplay, he even says there's no point in winning. He even throws in a GG in there well before the game is over at probably 150 some points when the game to goes to 250. So the point is that people do know that you're supposed to be on the hard point to win. But the thing that really annoys me about Call of Duty is that everyone, no matter what game mode they're playing, seems to want to play Slayer only. And Slayer, of course, is just, you know, you're going around killing people. And I'm not saying there, there's anything wrong with that. In fact, a good team in general, if you ever watch competitive, you have people who are, you know, they're, well, actually, they're both, they're a good combination of, of both objective players and Slayers. But when you're in public matches, you're not going to have a well organized team at all, like ever. So, Unfortunately, the balance is off within the team. Usually, at least in my opinion, my team tends to do best when there's maybe two slayers and then the rest people the rest of the people on the team are very hard objective players. And when it comes to objective based game modes like hardpoint, I am always on the objective and you will see every time that I play hardpoint, I have the most time, if not almost the most time on the hardpoint and usually if it's a full game, anywhere between 2 to 3 minutes on the hardpoint. That is really strong and very long compared to a lot of people who just tend to sit back with a sniper or sit back with an assault rifle and then don't do anything. You know, they're trying to play support slayers, which you do definitely need. I'm not bashing on those people at all. But the fact of the matter is, some people need to know their role. They play support sniper or just in general support slayer, but they're not very good at it. They're usually going even. With a support player, you generally need to be doing much, much better than the rest of your team because you are not contributing to the team by being on the hard point. Playing the objective, especially if you are someone who cannot play Support Slayer very well, is critical to winning these games. And I know this is a very obvious statement, but there are surprisingly a lot of times when I am playing Hardpoint or I'm trying to get into a game and everybody wants to play Slayer and I am the only one trying to capture the Hardpoint. I'm not saying that everyone's bad. I mean, combined, they are helping me a lot. I'm able to get on the hard point because everybody is trying to kill the enemies from getting to the hard point. However, again, if you are not a decent slayer, just be honest with yourself if you are or not. If you are not, then try to rush the objective with me or rush the objective with people who are actually playing it. It's a good way to get your team points and a very easy way to get your team points. And of course, I'm sure there are much more technical roles that you can play in a game like Call of Duty, considering that in a lot of competitive matches there are multiple roles, or you can switch back and forth between roles depending on what your team needs. But just keep in mind what your team's strengths and weaknesses are. Even in a public match, you're able to like analyze your team every now and then. You're able to say, okay, this person is able to drop drop off recon, which is good. So those are like UAVs and all that stuff. And you have people who are able to do really strong attack streaks. There are people who are able to get rates, wraps, and things like that. And be able to help the team out by choking off the enemy from getting to the points that you need to capture. But if you are someone who cannot get those high KDRs, then play the objective, please. And help me out in the next time you see me in the game. So that's all I really wanted to say for this gameplay, and I apologize that it was kind of a rant and kind of complaining about how people play Call of Duty, but then again, you know, everyone's just going to say it's Call of Duty, no one's going to be playing the objective, etc, etc. But in my mind, if you are playing the game and playing that specific game mode, why aren't you doing what the game mode needs to win? That's just kind of my food for thought. What are your guys' thoughts? Do you guys Are you guys objective players? Are you guys slayers? Or do you play a little bit of both? I'd like to hear how your views are on playing the objective and how 
frustrating it can be when you are the only one maybe doing well on your team with regards to how the game plays out. That'll do it for the rest of this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next video. You grunts are all right by me.